Welcome back to Class Farms, guys. Kai over here with Jason. What's going on, guys? And you've just tuned into another special video. I call these CF Contest videos. Extraordinary. Extraordinary, exactly. <laughs> well, what does that mean, Jason? Well, you know, if you just head on over to cfcontest.com, you could potentially see this at your house at, you know, no cost to you. But what is this? Um, Scar 20S, chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor with a 20 inch barrel with some added goodies on here. I'm pretty sure, you know, tickles the masses. So. Exactly, Scar 20S, guys. This is the holy grail. It's a precision rifle, mm -hmm. pretty much. It's been utilized by many militaries. We're gonna talk about it. Go to cfcontest.com to have a chance to get your hands on this thing at no cost to you. That's all I can say. And the code word is, Mark 20, as in MK20. Exactly, MK20, but if you, you know, if you wanna put MARK20 because your name is Mark or whatever, go ahead and do that and that'll work too. Mm -hmm. With that being said, let's talk about this because this is an iconic, it's my word, iconic weapon system. So you, you're gonna see some little dust around here because I took it to the range yesterday, shot a pretty good LARPing intro and it shot phenomenal. Okay. So, Jason, what do you know about SCARs in general? Not just SCAR 20, SCARs. Well, SCARs in general, first of all, great platform. They've been used by many special forces throughout the entire world. Uh, ours definitely with the SCAR 17 um, H, and then it moved on from there. And obviously, SOCOM wanted something a little bit more in precision wise. So this is what we got right here, man. Exactly. So. In 2004, the Special Operations uh, Command, you know, the SOCOM, solicited mm -hmm. a different weapon platform to kind of replace the old, the, the, uh, the M4 platforms. Mm -hmm. They wanted different calibers, like 5.56 five, and the 7.62x51. Uh, mm -hmm. Initially, the uh, FN came up with the uh, SCAR-16, yep. which is SCAR-L, L for light. And uh, that was uh, about 600 of them in 2007, I believe, or 2000, right around 2007, 2009, was delivered to the 75th Ranger uh, Regiment. Yep. And shortly thereafter, in 2013, they decided to kind of like, eh, you know what, we're gonna pull these things back because uh, there's some other uh, political explanation to it, but in reality, SCAR-16 kind of crapped the bed a little bit. Yeah, had a little accuracy issues and compatibility with some parts, and they were trying to get, like, conversion kits, bro. But, uh. Yeah, so they, they had some issues, yeah. right? SCAR-16 had some issues, but SCAR-17 did a pretty good job. They had no issues. It was super accurate, reliable, good to go. It had some optic-eating issues, right? Well, yeah, it... No L-can could stand it, neither could any glass optic, but it's okay. It's because of the uh, charging mass that's going right here, forward and back, that's so close to the rail. It's just top, so, so violent. It's bam, violent. Bam, it's it hits really you. So, and, and that had, but, you know, that wasn't enough to kind of uh, delete the whole program, right? right? The military continued with the SCAR-17, mm -hmm. but what they wanted was, obviously they needed 5.56, five, very important NATO cartridge as well, 
Well, guess what? They did the conversion kit. So FN prepared a conversion kit for SCAR-17s to be converted to SCAR-16. So the military moved on with that. And to this day, guys, many countries around the world use SCAR uh, platforms. Yep. Now, because it was a very proven system that worked, and you know what? FN was like, the military was like, obviously wanted something more precision. FN came up with different variations of SCARs. And, uh, and SCAR means, a, uh, what does that mean? Special Combat Assault. Special Operations Except, Combat Assault. Yes, but yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. there you go. There's, there is that. Anyways, <laughs> then we, we obviously, the SCAR-20 uh, was born, and this thing is a precision rifle, 20-inch barrel, brake, and all the goodies. In fact, the you know, Navy SEALs and a bunch of other special operations units use it very, very effectively. Yeah. You know, this thing actually did have a little issue. What was the uh, little burst thing you're talking about? Oh, well, you know, just... By some means, it just happened to give you, you know, three round burst. Exactly. Shout out, shout out to you, FN. We appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But you know, that was long mitigated and good to go. Uh, so it's got a lot of history, very iconic weapon system. Mm -hmm. And uh, with that being said, we decided to kind of include this to CFContest.com because yep. we would we thought you guys would appreciate it. So we went and spent our own dime yep. and bought the gun. Tricking it. Absolutely out. Exactly, so. but if you look at it, the gun looks a little bit different than the original SCAR-20, yeah. which is right here. If you look at it, this is just a good old SCAR-20, mm -hmm. as it is designated, mm -hmm. really cool. I mean, this part is, you know, the whole uh, quad rail thing is kind of, I don't like it, but hey, this is how it is. But if you notice, this thing has a wonderful KDB rail on it. So that adds definitely more boost to the jazz. Exactly, Kinetic Development Group mm -hmm. reached out to us. They're like, hey guys, listen, you got a pretty cool SCAR-20? Yes, we can make it better. There you go. Like, how? And this is what happened. We got the uh, all the goodies, which we're gonna go over mm -hmm. in a second. And do you wanna start over there? Yeah, going from this uh, fully adjustable um, cheek rise and butt pad to give you all the adjustability during your precision shooting. Moving up top to the glass, which is extra premium. Leopold Mark V HD 3.6 to 18. So you're seeing everything possible out there in your engagement zone. And then moving forward, we've got this. What was it? Oh, uh, sorry, I forgot about the mount, man. I'm sorry, yeah, the worn mount, because yeah. obviously not many companies make 35 millimeter mounts because Leopold's different. Yeah. Loophole is different. And this <laughs> optic, dude, guys, I was shooting this yesterday. I mean, the gun itself is extremely accurate. The, the glass is so freaking oh, clear. We were just stacked at 100 yards, okay? We were stacking rounds on top of each other. But yeah, move on. Good gun and good glass. I'll yeah. that to you. So moving forward, we got the um, Scarger, which is another product from KDG. There's charging handle. So it gives you that ex extended look out. And also it's aluminum. So it you know, cuts down on all the weight, but it makes it easier to charge this back and forth. So that's great as well. Yeah, and the thing is like, this is the original, right? Yeah. Like if you look at it, I'm sorry, FN, and this is mediocre, okay? Like the original. Mm -hmm. If you look at the KDG one right here. Upgrade. Super ergonom ergonomic, upgrade. It, it's very, very good. Yeah. And uh, it's kind of angled down so you don't kind of bust your knuckle too. Exactly. And the safety selector right here is, yep. uh, it's from Radium, but KDG obviously uh, is, sells this and mm -hmm. they gave it to us. And we got plenty of this whole KDG stuff in the warehouse too. Yeah, so. Plenty of them. So Because we love them, they absolutely are the best SCAR upgrade. So we have them. Yeah. But anyways, this is the feels really good. 45 degree mm -hmm. compared to an original SCAR uh, selector lever. Just a huge upgrade. Yeah, night and day difference, man. Absolutely. Just a good old uh, stock over here, uh, not, uh, grip over here. Mm -hmm. Geisley two point or two, uh, two stage trigger. SCAR trigger. Yeah, and that makes a huge difference. Pretty good, man. Yeah. I, I thought it was decent, you know, compared to a SCAR trigger. Correct. It's right. definitely upgrade from the normal yeah. SCAR trigger, and any Geisley product we know just carries that synonymous record, so it's good to go. Yeah. And reliable, yeah. exactly. And as everybody knows, or you guys don't know, SCARs are monolithic uppers right here. Mm -hmm. So you got this huge rail space to put whatever, and you're not going to need zero shifts whatsoever. And KDG kind of puts that a little bit further, right? Takes that a little further with this M-lock attachment here, mm -hmm. drops it down here. You guys can actually attach some stuff yeah. here because on the original stuff, you lose yep. space. You lose right? all that space. You can attach lights, yep. lambs, whatever your heart desires. If you want to throw a clip on, on here and do some stuff at night, knock yourself out. That'll do it just right. So moving up to the tip though, we've got this Surefire. It's not the SOCOM profile one that allows you to attach a suppressor because, you know, you know about 
suppressors and scars, right? Like, yeah, I know. Uh, did, okay, I know, and I'll tell you this. <laughs> There's a suppress setting. This is an adjust, uh, a short stroke piston driven system. Mm -hmm. It's got adjustable gas system right here, right. suppressed mm -hmm. and unsuppressed. But FN doesn't want you to attach a suppressor. I mean, you can if you wanted to, but FN says you will void your warranty. Well, that sucks. <laughs> and what else? They, they just there's the new rule now. What was going on? Something about a restraining order. If there's a suppressor within like you know five yards of this thing, you know, like this, it's gonna void your warranty. So, did it just happen then? I, I don't know, man. The FBI, open up. <laughs> I'm feeling like a rebel right now. Oh uh, no, the edge lord. FN. <laughs> there you go. But nah, that's all jokes aside. Yeah, you, you're not supposed to suppress your FN, or else you void your warranty. I don't understand. Why? Moving on. Okay, <laughs> so there is this guy right here, guys, fully decked out for your pleasure. You gotta go, to, you, you need to go to uh, cfcontest.com to actually get your name in the bucket yeah. for you to be able to have this thing. And uh, have you shot this thing before? I have shot this one, especially using this Harris bipod up front to give you level it out and angle it out for all those long-term shots that you got. Yeah. It's a smooth shooter platform. Very smooth shooter and 6.5 Creed more. Now, there's, you know, 308, obviously, and mm -hmm. the NATO cartridge, like 7 by 51 That's really good for reaching out and touching stuff. But, dude, when it comes to accuracy, yes. we've tested this on this channel numerous times, numerous videos. If you guys haven't seen our bolt gun series, definitely check the bolt gun series out there. 6.5 Creedmoor is a fantastic, fantastic uh, cartridge mm. it, when it comes to accuracy. Really good. And this thing with the brake right there shoots very smooth, a little loud, but super, super accurate. Overall, this is a fantastic setup, especially with the little, you know, you got the bypass, a bipod here from mm -hmm. Harris, but if you want this uh, stand and shoot with this little uh, MacBull, uh, uh, yeah, hand stop yeah. foregrip, that'll actually help uh, you shoot better or grip the gun better. Yeah. Overall, I think we've touched all of it. Yeah. I just, uh, what else? When it comes to, uh, yeah, ambidextrous uh, magazine release, anybody who cares about a 10 round magazine here, but it also has 20 round magazine. And that is about it. But when it comes to bolt catch, bolt release, it's not ambidextrous. And quite frankly, for a gun like this, you don't You're posted need it. up somewhere. Yeah, yeah, like I don't think it's all that. For a little CQB gun, the run, run gun, uh, gun uh, yes, I like it. But for this one, no. Ambidextrous selector safety and uh, safety selector and mag release, that's good enough for me. Other than that, and the charging is non-reciprocating. Oh. It's not reciprocating, so. We like our thumbs. Exactly, there's that. I'm just uh, looking around and see if I've missed anything else, but that's about it, guys. Honestly, a SCAR 20 speaks for itself. It does. That's about it. Go to cfcontest.com and get your names in there. Code word? Mark 20. MK20 or MARK20. And you know what, I'm gonna give you this one too for European folks, MARC20 if you wanted to. That's it. As always, guys, thanks for tuning in. We appreciate your business. God bless. And we'll see you on the next one. Ooh. Bite me. <laughs>